Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Doveston and it's great to have you with me, whether you're new and just joined the channel or whether you're returning, great to have your presence and your energy with me. We're all here for one simple reason. We want to grow and expand the possibilities of our life. And in order to do that, we have to understand ourselves, we have to understand the world we're in, and we have to be in tune with the flows of change that are all around us to maximize the opportunity to become the master of our lives and not its slave, right? So let us focus on our monthly overview for September. Here we are, September 2020, and we're going to have a look at what is the state of change, the focus we're being asked to pay attention to for the month of September. If you remember last month, we had the well, hexagram 48, the well. And this hexagram talked about the social structures, the infrastructure we are creating that allows us to tap into the inexhaustible supply of nourishment that's all around us, particularly social structures, things that enable us to tap into everything that we need. So what was the well symbolizing for you last month? How did that work for you? What were some of the insights that you got on the well, hexagram 48? Please do share those in a comment. Right, so let's look at September. I'm really struggling to comprehend that we are here already. Obviously, 2020 has been quite a, an unusual year, let's call it that, where we really have been pressed to grow. And unfortunately, as human beings, we tend to only grow when we are put under lots of pressure, like coal turns into a diamond. So let's all hope we're diamonds in the rough and we are letting our life polish us into these beautiful faceted diamonds. So the month of September 2020, we have the hexagram, the youthful folly. <laughs> okay, so it is locked. Okay, that means like we had for this past week, we had a locked hexagram that means it's fixed, it's static, and we also had a locked hexagram for last month, for August 2020. We've never had them for the monthlies on the channel, and here we have two months in a row we have them. So very interesting. I would imagine from the fact that we've had quite a lot of locked hexagrams of late, that what that means is things are starting to stabilize. When we have lots of change and lots of inflection points, we tend to have lots of changing lines. And here we seem to be stabilizing a bit. So does that resonate for you in your life, that things are starting to settle down in your own flow of change. Be that as it may, let us get into hexagram for youthful folly and what this might mean to us. If we look at the hexagram structure, we see on the top we have the mountain trigram and the bottom we have water. And water kind of sinks, but here water's trying to tackle the mountain. And the mountain is a solid, immovable <laughs> barrier, okay? It sinks and rests, it is fixed. And we have water, like a little stream bubbling at the base of the mountain. No matter how much the water is bubbling, it's not doing anything to the mountain. So it refers to an inner process where there is kind of a bit of risk symbolized by the water. And in our environments, we have an obstacle that we aren't able to move through using our water. This kind of little babbling brook is not doing too much to move the mountain. And this hexagram talks about having to recognize that we are inexperienced, we are but a youth that is facing something where we have to grow up, where we have to grow and develop our skills. So there are two things that I'd like to really focus on as we work with hexagram for youthful folly for the month of September. The one is, no doubt we will be challenged in September where we are arrogant and think we know everything when in fact we don't. Where we are getting good quality advice from an elder, from a superior kind of uh, energy, from a leader, from a parent, from a wise crone or a wise wizard as it were. And we are saying, I know better, you old, you don't know what you're talking about, I'm fresh and young, I get it, I'm gonna go and do it my own way. Okay. And when we are in that mindset in September, we are going to face the solid obstruction of the mountain, <laughs> blocked. 
So we will come undone, we will have challenges where we have that mindset. The other part is that we can then say, let's go into this month. What are we being asked to pay attention to or focus on? What is the overall theme of this month? And if we go into the month saying, I am on a path of learning. There's a whole pile of things here I do understand. And I'm going to listen to the elder who's giving me advice. I'm going to assume that I need education, that I need development, and that the time is not yet right because I'm not yet ready to understand this picture fully. There's something in here I don't understand. I can't see, I can't see the whole picture because I am learning. And if we work with the month with that humble perspective on our capabilities, recognizing what I call the competency gap, the gap between what you wanna do and the gap of what you have, the skills you actually currently have, if you can recognize the competency gap and then go and get the help, the education, the advice you need to bring that gap closer, you are going to tap into blessings for the month. One way of understanding this, and you've heard me talk about this hexagram in this way before, is the story of the karate kid where this young youth now goes and learns from the master. It's only until he stops pushing that he knows more or doesn't need the training, that he really recognizes, actually, I need to listen to this master and learn from him. And so we have wax on, wax off. The training starts in earnest about halfway through the movie. This is the idea of the month of September. We don't need to have the knowledge. We don't need to have the experience. We could be foolish and jump off the edge of the cliff saying, I know it all, or I'll figure it out as I go. That's not gonna get us where we need to get to. What we're being asked to pay attention to is to recognize our ignorance and our foolishness and where we don't have the expertise. So I think this month is a back to school project. And for each one of us, what is the thing you're grappling with right now where we have to recognize it's time to go back to school? I know for myself there's projects I'm doing where I've got courses, online courses that I bought that I haven't yet done and I need to go and do them. I'm going to commit September to go and re-educate myself on some areas where it would be foolish to think I know more than I do. And where for you in your life do you need to go back to school? What is the bigger education process or re-education process you're wanting to bring into your team, into your business? Where does your team not have the skills and expertise to do what you need to do? What is the opportunity in this month, because we're being asked to focus on it, to focus on our re-education, to focus on our training and development. If you have a business, really look closely at how you can bring re-education, training, development, learning into your team this month. There's something important we're having to equip ourselves with to not be the foolish youth anymore. And besides all that, besides the learning and development, the things that we can practically do, it's about having a mindset that puts down arrogance and recognizes where we have a competency gap, where we have to fill the gap, and where we can then step out of knowing it all and step into receptive grace to receive the information and the wisdom we need. There's so much wisdom around us. If we are in arrogance, we cannot tap into it. I really wish you a wonderful month of September. I wish you incredibly inspiring learning and development. We're all going to be going back to school together in different ways and shapes. And I really look forward to hearing how your journey of learning goes throughout the month. Remember to subscribe if you have not yet done so to get the weekly hexagram overviews into your app every single week. And if you're on YouTube, click that little bell icon so that they pop into your box as soon as they are live. And of course, it's a new month. So that means there is a new monthly giveaway. Please go along and follow the link below this episode to go and enter your question for the I Ching. We have the one from August coming out soon. We look forward to that. And of course, get your entry in it. You have to be in it to win it. So look forward to that. Thank you so much. See you on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for our daily I Ching stories. And of course, take care and look forward to seeing you soon.